what's up everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new my name is Vilma today I'm going to be sharing with you guys new in pieces that I have recently added onto my wardrobe some of them are going to be transitional pieces but the majority are still pieces that I would be wearing now for the last few weeks of summer any pieces that were gifted to me will have an asterisk next to it but the majority of the pieces that I have here were all bought with my own money some of them were impulsive buys but I feel like impulsive buys sometimes sometimes are the ones that you love the most and I know that I'm going to be wearing them because my mindset every time I go shopping is to buy something that not only fits my body is cohesive with my wardrobe but it's also versatile I can wear it in the summer in the spring and the colder months as well I have a few accessories some shoes and yeah with all that being said let's get started with this video. So summer 2020 has been a summer that I've been obsessing over shorts. I've been really enjoying wearing them and I'm going to start with my denim shorts. The first ones that I have right here are from Weekday. These are called the Dandy Shorts. They retail for 35 pounds and they're made of 100% cotton. The size that I have here is size 38 and I absolutely love them. First of all, they're super high waist and they're longer, which for me is the best length that I find to be very versatile because you can dress it up you can dress it down depending on your work setting it's possible that you can wear these shorts as well for work I like styling them with a white a white button-up shirt slides trainers or high heels I think they're very versatile and very flattering on my figure as well the second ones are from Levi's these I believe they're called the mid-length shorts these are 501 denim shorts um, I can't remember the name of the shade but I'll try my very best to link the same ones below I think here in the UK they're sold out but in the US they're still available on the website I got mine for 25 pounds which was a steal full price they retail for 50 which is not really expensive it's still 501s from Levi so you know you're going to pay but you're getting value for money because they're great quality these ones I got them in size 29 waist and I absolutely love them they have a raw hem they're a little bit shorter than the dandy shorts but they work really well in my wardrobe I absolutely love blue denim so I actually have about three I also have a pair from Zara which I spoke about so much that I'm not going to feature in this video but yeah I love these two right here the next shorts are made of a more light and airy fabric the first ones are from another stories and these ones are made of a linen blend and they come in this kind of like light peachy shade I think my camera is kind of like washing them out but they are made of a linen blend the style is high-waisted and I feel like it's almost like Bermuda style again they have side pockets and faux pockets on the back these ones I also got them in the sale I can't fully remember how much I paid I think maybe a little bit over 20 pounds and I really really love them they're super thick but of a very soft and uh, smooth material they also have a really nice feature which is a little layer underneath so that your underwear doesn't show I've tried these with a darker underwear and it doesn't come through which is awesome and I absolutely love them the other ones that I have here are made of hundred percent viscose these ones are from mango and they're a lot longer than these ones right here super dressy as these ones are again I bought this one a full price as well I got it in a size 12 oh my god I'm trying to turn this um, I got it in a size 12 and I feel like I could have gone down possibly a size but I do really love them they're a little bit more dressy but I really love the boyish look that they give um, with heels I think this would look amazing and a really nice body or a um, linen shirt over the top I think it would look really really good so this next piece is from H&M and I am absolutely obsessed 
with this skirt. This was an impulse buy. I went to H&M to return a few items and when I was walking out I saw this skirt in the sale section although it wasn't part of the sale and I fell in love with it. It's a slip midi skirt, a black pattern with polka dots or a black base with polka dots and the polka dots are gold which is so nice because I feel like this tone of gold is so wearable both in the colder months or the summer months as well. The length of this is perfect. The fit is just perfect as well. I got it in size medium. Now on the website, I've noticed that this skirt is selling out very fast. At least my size is not there anymore. So you may have to go into one of their shops to see if you can find it. But I just love it so much. I think this was such a great impulsive buy. And it retails for £24.99. So next I want to show you guys some basics from weekday. I have two right here. So the first one is a white cropped tank with a more boxy or relaxed fit. This is made of 100% cotton and it retails for £12. The size that I got is medium. I'm pretty much a medium now in most of the tops that I buy and I find that these are very very true to size. One of the things that I love not only that it's made of cotton it's a very soft cotton that I feel like it's going to last me a really long time. It's not flimsy. I've worn it a couple of times and I really love wearing these with jeans or shorts for example the Bermuda shorts from Mango. It's not going to show through when you tuck it in. So that is one of the features that I really, really love. The next one is this black, somewhat racer um, type of top. This is also made of 100% cotton. It comes in white, black, and pink. And I got it in size medium. I also want to get this one in white, but every time I go to the shop, it's never there. And online, they although they have it, I don't want to order more stuff just to have the white one and not pay for postage. I don't know about you, but I hate paying for postage. Now, this is very similar to the Zara bodysuit that I'm wearing right now, but instead of having the poppers as a bodysuit, it's just a top. So it's a little bit more comfortable in my opinion. And it's a super nice. Again, this was also either $9.99 or $12.99. Next, I have a pair of Levi's that I got in the sale. And these ones are called the original original 501 rib jeans. I got them in size 28 waist and 28 in seam and I believe the high, the high rise of these ones is around 10 inch rise. I love these because they just fit so so well. I remember ordering the size 29 as well at the same time and the 29 was a more relaxed fit. If that is what you like it's not very fitted and I wanted these to be fitted a little bit because I know that the denim after a while stretches and molds to your body. So these ones are ripped in the knee and although they're ripped I still feel like they're a little bit more dressy than my Zara mom jeans which have a more relaxed fit. So I wanted another pair that had a more slimmer leg to give me a different type of vibe which these ones definitely do and I would wear these ones mostly like for going out with a nice shirt or a nice blouse. Um, I wear them during the day but I feel like for a more relaxed look I go for the mom jeans and for a more dressier look I go for these ones. The next item is this a play suit from Zara that I got literally maybe a couple of days ago. I got it in size medium. It retails for £25.99 and I really really love it. I was looking for a play suit similar to this and I really love the shade. It's kind of like a boiler or utility, not boiler, but more of a utility suit. It's a blend of think lyocell or viscose and polyester, but the polyester content is less than 25%, which is okay for me. If it was higher, I wouldn't have kept it. I really love the fit. It is a little bit difficult to put in because you have buttons here and then you need to put your legs and then try and put your arms. It's kind of awkward, but once it's on, it's super comfortable. I love the length of the bottom part and the sleeves as well. And I feel like this shade is very, um, it complements my skin tone. Really love this. I think this is something that you can wear year after year. And if you are in a very hot climate, something like this is perfect because it's not attached to your body. It's kind of like, you know, flowy. I really love it. And cinching it in at the waist just gives you a little bit more shape. 
I'm going to quickly mention the pieces that were gifted to me. If you've not seen how to style a silk top, you probably have missed that. I had a few pieces gifted to me by Lily Silk. So the first one is this top right here, which I love. I cannot wait to wear this in the colder months with black trousers. I think this is going to be a nice pop of color that it's not too bright because it's not really gold. It's kind of like a beigey gold tone and I really Really love it and I know a few of you were saying Vuma you need to steam your items I finally have my steamer so now it looks nice and soft and ready to wear and the other piece that was also gifted to me is this cashmere sweater which I cannot wait to wear because it will go so well with a coat that I have from I was gonna say mango but it's not from mango it's from H&M I got it in size medium both of them are in size medium and I really love this this one I cannot wait to wear it to go out um, and this one just as a transitional piece I think it's a must-have in my wardrobe the next three pieces are going to be shirts I have three right here the first one is very new as well this is from Massimo Dutti and this was an impulsive buy but I am super happy that I got it because I remember seeing this shirt on the website and I absolutely love the shade. Now, if I tell you that Massimo Dutti is becoming my favorite store, I have another piece to show you in a minute. I love their quality and I feel like the best time if you are on a budget to buy in their store is in the sale. So this shirt full price retailed for 59 pounds um, and I think it's well worth the money because it has beautiful details on it, although it looks very simple. It's made of a satin cotton finish. It's 100% cotton, but it has a satin finish because it has a sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can see it. And I think this will look amazing with denim, like blue denim and black trousers. I think it's going to look fantastic. And I really, really love this one. I also love shirts that have this little pleating here at the back. I think it adds a little bit more character. The next one is a 100% silk blouse that I got in and of stories. I got this on sale in store. If you guys have an end of the story store around your area, when I say around your area, maybe half an hour away, maybe even an hour away, I highly recommend that you go in store because when they have sales, a lot of the times they're not on sale on the website. Their website works a little bit different. I think their warehouse comes from Sweden directly because when I order online, anytime I want to get a refund, it takes up to 21 days. So I think it goes back to Sweden and then, you know, anyway. I'm digressing here. I got this for only 20 something pounds when it was, I think on the website, 95. So keep that in mind, love the shade. And the last shirt is a linen shirt from Mango. Got this in the sale size medium and I think I paid only 19 pounds 99 down from 35 so definitely a good price it has um, a really nice feel to it I still have the tag because I took some pictures with with it but I will be wearing this as soon as the weather gets a little bit better it's a little bit cold here in London at the moment but I really really love it I love the shade it's kind of like a cool tone beige which I think it's very wearable and it will suit every skin tone and again I got it in size medium because this is a little bit oversized but it's still relaxed on me and the next item is this gorgeous boiler suit that I featured in my Massimo Dutti haul if you've not seen that one I'll link it up here for you guys so many of you if not 99% of you said Vilma you need to keep that boiler suit and I'm so grateful for your input because how I see myself in the mirror may not be how other people see me and I think that works for everybody and because of you guys I kept it I absolutely love this cannot wait to actually wear it this is the perfect weather at the moment that we have to wear something like this it's a one piece it's easy to use I can add a belt I love the shade it's a medium to dark beige although on the website it um, is advertised as a uh, faded green which it could be but I love it if you want to have something like this please 
try and go on the website because literally every shop in the UK, this in my size is sold out. You may find it in a size large, but I have it in size medium. So if you are same size as me, definitely go for a medium. And they also have this in a dark blue. The next piece is going to be another impulsive buy and this one is a trench coat up from Massimo Dutti. I got it very, very recently. I actually traveled to Bromley, uh, to Bromley South, which they have a Massimo Dutti there and that's where I bought this trench coat and the green shirt. I don't know why I went so far, but I really enjoyed that day with my daughter. And this was the last one that they had there. The sales assistant was like, you know, this is the last ones. They're also sold out. I believe you're still able to get this online full price although it's not here it was over 170 pounds and I got it for 59 which is an absolute steal I just love the flowiness it's made of hundred percent viscose it's heavy it's well made and it just drapes on my body I just love it I was looking for something like this I seen it in Zara this year but I don't know I just felt like this was the perfect fit I got it in size medium and I just love it. I don't know what else to say. It does have a belt that I don't think I'll ever use, but I love, love, love this. I think this was a great, great addition to my wardrobe. And my last clothing item had to be my Arquette blazer. I've mentioned this in a vlog, but if you've not seen it, I wanted to make sure that I would talk about it in this video. This was the best, like one of the best buys this year because I was obsessing over black blazers. I needed to find the right black blazer for me, but I wasn't able to because everywhere I go, the contents of polyester are so high and I was trying to get something that I could wear in the summer that it's breathable at all times. So I got this in the sales in store at Arquette. They no longer have this online, but they have a similar one, um, very, very similar, which is at full price. I'll link it below for you guys. But if you do have the opportunity to go to an Arquette shop, hopefully you're still able to find it. I got it in size 40, so it is a little bit oversized on me. I could have gone down a size, but I do like the oversized look in blazers. I feel like um, they're a little bit more versatile be because I can wear it with a sweater instead of wearing with something like this or a t-shirt so they are a little bit more versatile but yeah really love it it also has kind of like almost a satin finish because when I turn it it does have a sheen to it but I love it it's one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe so now we're going to move along to accessories and the first one that I have to show you is this a gorgeous straw hat from H&M this is a bolters hat and most of the hats if you're wondering, especially if you buy like Zara, high street stores, they come in one size. So if it fits, it fits. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And this one fits me perfectly. Like I absolutely love it. It even goes with what I'm wearing right now. All I needed was a nice pair of black sliders and I'm ready to go. I really love the style of this and I love hats, but it's so difficult to find a hat that suits you and that suits your head. Cause if your head is too small or too big, it could be a little bit challenging, but this one is just, I don't know. I really, really love it. My next accessory is this gorgeous straw bag from Mango that I got in the sales down from 35 pounds to 19.99 and I absolutely love it. You've probably seen it so many times on my Instagram. It's such a wearable bag especially because it's not too big so it's perfect for kind of like every day and the tone of the faux leather parts is perfect like I really love this brown it's very versatile in my wardrobe and I feel like this type of bag and the tone is going to suit so many different people it comes with a strap that it's not too long so you can also wear it like this I just think it was a gorgeous buy and I love it they still have this bag but only in the black version um, and it's very similar to the Loewe bag which costs around 300 pounds so this is definitely good for a entry level somebody who is new to basket bags this one is definitely a 
a must have. My next accessory is the Teddy Blake Ava 11 inch bag that I have in this gorgeous dark gray. I would call it even a charcoal gray because it definitely reminds me of charcoal. This one is with the gold accents and I absolutely love it. It has this cute little handle, um, a nice long strap that you can adjust to your height and I've been wearing it non-stop. Now this bag, full disclaimer, was a gift and I'm so grateful for Teddy Blake for gifting this bag to me because I just love everything about it and at some point I will be doing a what's in my bag video because I think this is a must must have for a lady that has a similar style to mine. This type of bag will just elevate your outfits. Okay guys, so moving along to footwear, I have two sandals right here, exactly the same from In Other Stories. When I like something, I tend to buy them in different shades and I'm super happy that I bought these in these two shades because they are going to be timeless. Well, they are timeless, but they're going to be one of those pieces that I know I'm going to reach for time and time again in my wardrobe. These are from In Other Stories, if I've not mentioned before, I got them in size 7. I got them in store for half price so I paid for both of them the same price that one would have cost. They retail for £85 but I only paid £42 and I had to buy both of them because they just fit my style so nicely. I love the heel. Let me just grab this one like this. The heel is just perfect for every day or if you're going out and you don't like to wear heels and they're classic enough to really dress up any look that you have and make you look so sophisticated. They're made of a genuine leather and the leather from End of the Stories is super soft. I have uh, several shoes from them and they last me at least three, four, and five years till I feel like I need to replace them with something a little bit more modern. But yeah, I really love these. This nude shade over here is not too warm, which is something that I like. These are must-haves and yeah, I really love them. These next ones right here are also from End of the Stories and I again I bought them in store for half price. I love them and they come in four shades brown, black, white and a pink shade and these are exactly what I was looking for because I wanted a pair of sliders that were black that were leather that I could wear with button-up shirts. I love button-up shirts at the moment. I don't know what it is but yeah really love these ones. I feel like I've spoken about them before here on my channel either on a vlog. I think it was a vlog but I think these ones were definitely a great buy. These ones I had to buy in a bigger size. I got them in size 8 because the size 7 was a little bit too tight but they fit really nicely and they go with everything that I wear in my wardrobe. A pair of black sliders are definitely, definitely a must have for anyone's wardrobe because they will go with anything that you have. You can either dress them up or dress them down. They will always elevate or really carry your outfit really nicely. So something like this with a very simple minimalistic look is something that I really like and I feel like again it will elevate your outfits even if you're wearing very simple clothing. And last but not least I had to talk about my Arquette sandals that I've been loving so much. These ones were also mentioned in a vlog, a very recent vlog, and I got them in store for half the price. They retail for price for £150, but in store I only paid £75. And although these were an impulse buy because I didn't go to the store to buy these, I went to buy my black blazer. The moment I tried them on, I knew I had to have them because one, they're super comfortable, they're super flattering and sexy at the same time, although the heel is not super high. And I wanted a strappy sandal for the longest, but I never find them comfortable and these ones just fit like a glove and the square feature um, on the toes is something that it's in and it's been in since last year but this one is not too much. I find some of them are very boat like and if you have wider feet or wide feet it makes your feet look really weird. These ones just complement my feet and I love them. Okay guys so we've reached the end of this video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you did please make sure to give this video a good thumbs up letting me know 
know that you enjoy every time I do a video such as this because I can do it every couple of months showing you new in pieces and of course if you enjoyed what you saw please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you on my next one bye